Rex Corey. Part... Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L&M Filters. Make today your big red letter day. Change to L&M. Superior taste. Superior filter. America's best filter tip cigarette. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. somebody else. I thought you was dead. The ship was sunk and you didn't come back. And I thought you was dead. Well, you sure didn't waste no time hitching on to somebody else. She waited four years, mister. That's a long time for a girl to try to make out a loan, don't you think? What I think is my business, Marshal. Come on, Sally. We're going to talk this over in no, private. No, yes, I can't. Well, this is no way for a wife to act or a lawful husband. You come on. Just a minute. Sally, do you want to go with him? No. No. Marshal, I've got to tell Ben. Look, 
got to decide what to do. All right, mister, you heard her. You aiming to come between a man and his wife. You call it what you like, but you're not dragging her off somewhere when she doesn't want to go. Is that so? Well, on board ship, Mr. Marshall, when a fella butts in like this, we... Yes, oh, no! Oh. You, you, you better stand back now, Mr. Marshall. Oh, Mr. No, 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 oh, no. That would be too easy, no, no. Oh! oh. I'd find some water to throw on it, Chester. That's right, I will. I'll take Sally over to Doc's. Maybe he can give her something to calm her down. Boy, howdy. He's out colder than a Texas January. Yeah, well, he may wish he'd stayed out when Ben Bogan learns about this. She, Doc? Oh, she's all right, Matt. There's nothing wrong with her. A good night's rest won't cure her. And one less husband, of course. You know, that's quite a situation. Yeah, it sure is. And it's going to be worse, I'm afraid. Why? She didn't break any law. She had plenty of reason to think her first husband was dead. No, I mean the trouble that's going to stir up when Ben Bogan finds out. Mm, she doesn't want to see Ben until tomorrow, Matt. She wants to stay here in town tonight and try to figure things out. No, that's a good idea. She can get herself a room over at the Dodge house. Wonder which one of those men she'll pick. I don't know, Doc. I just hope she does it quick before the two of them meet head on. <laughs> you know, Matt, if I was 20 years younger, I might get into the fight myself. Yeah? <laughs> An old goat like you. Goat? <laughs> oh, Matt. I'll have you know that a few short years back when I was a mite slicker and spry. Oh, my. I was a holy chair with the ladies. Yeah, I can believe that. Why, it wasn't until recently that I'd even accept a woman patient. They'd always up and fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> and a man just can't have it. <laughs> Doc, what's this I hear about my wife? Oh, uh, hello, Ben. Uh, oh, Marshal. Somebody said they'd seen you bringing Sally up here a while ago. Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess they might have at that. Well, what's the matter with well, There's it? nothing serious wrong with your wife, Bogan. She's a little upset, that's all. Well, what do you mean? What's she upset about? Well, well I don't think these technical terms would interest you. Now, never mind the terms, Doc. What's she doing here? What's wrong with her? Well, um, yeah, maybe you could explain it better. What's going on here, Marshal? Well, Ben, it's, uh, yeah, yeah it's kind of like Doc said. It's, uh, just... Doc, a... I think I'd better go over to the Dodge house and... Ben. Sally, now, what's this all about? Haven't you told him, Marshal? Well, I thought I'd better leave that to you, Sally. Tell me what, so help me. If somebody now, don't say something... Take, take it easy, Ben. Take There's it There's something easy. wrong with my wife. There ain't nobody will say nothing, and you say take it easy. Ben, it seems that uh, Sally here was married once before. Married? Yeah. A man named Lightly, a sailor. Now, Sally thought that he'd been drowned at sea years ago, but, well, he turned up here in Dodge today. Uh, he came looking for her. Sally, why didn't you tell me? It was all over and done with. I, I didn't think it mattered. Oh, you didn't, huh? Well, you think it mattered if I whip you some. Ben! Leave her alone, son. You stay out of this, Marshal. Go run that skunk out of town if you want to do something useful before I get to him and kill him. Kill him won't solve anything, Ben. He's got as much right here as you have. Has he got a right to come sneaking around my wife? Could be. She's his wife, Ben. If it turns out he's still alive. Well, he won't be alive long. And it's your fault, you little doxy. Oh, I said leave her alone. I'll leave her alone as soon as I beat a little sense into her. No! No, please! All right. <laughs> All right, Doc, he's all yours. Just finding that fellow sure was mad when he come to, Mr. Jones. You just stomping on it. Well, what happened to him? Uh, he stumbled into uh, Matt's fist, Chester. My gracious, Mr. Jones, you sure are keeping busy today. <laughs> What are you going to do about it, Matt? Wish I knew, Kitty. 
You know, if those two get together, somebody's going to be killed. Yeah. And I can't keep them apart forever. No? Yeah, if it was a drunken trail driver with a six-gun in his hand, I could have handled it, maybe. But I don't know. These man and wife mix-ups are... Two men and a wife, Matt. Yeah. It's twice as bad. That's going to end up worse. Well, I sort of figured Sally was heading for trouble. Not quite like this. Oh? Uh-huh. What do you mean? Well, she doesn't belong in a place like Dodge City, Matt. She's too restless, too free and easy. She spends too much time in town. Doing what? I, I wouldn't have said anything if this hadn't come out. Well, now, come on, Kitty. What are you getting at? Um, do you know a whiskey drummer named Slim Randall? Slim Randall? Yeah, I've seen him around. Well, he and Sally have been together a lot the last few weeks. It's harmless enough, I guess. Well, you know how people talk and make something out of nothing. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll change what I said. It's three times as bad. Or it will be if Ben hears about Slim Randall. Yeah, Matt? Oh, Matt. Yeah, what's the trouble? Ben, I want you to... Marshal, I want to know what you two have done with my wife. I've been trying to tell you that she doesn't want to see you tonight. She doesn't want to see anybody. She's got to be left alone so she can kind of get hold of herself. Well, there you are, Ben. You heard what he said. You're lying, both of you. You let her get together with that low-down sailor You're from San Francisco. Morgan. That's right, mister. Well, I've been looking for you. Well, now you found me. My name is Lightly. You dirty teen. Yeah, all right, hold it, Ben. No, no, Marshal, let him draw. That's all I ask. Just let him draw. I'll shoot the first man who touches his gun. Mister, I want to know where my wife is. He doesn't know any more about it than you do, Lightly. If she wants you, she'll come looking He's for you. He's got her locked up somewhere so she would have. You got no wife, mister. You're a dead man. And if you ain't yet, you're soon going to be. Oh, you'd like to name the time and the place, Bogan? How about tomorrow morning? For the livery stable. I was hoping you'd make it sooner. I'll make it right now. If you All right, hold it, bother you. Lightly, you've said your piece. Now get out. I'll see you all tomorrow. Drinks are on me. I'll kill him. I swear I'll kill him. Oh, calm down, Ben. Go buy yourself a whiskey. Maybe I will. Well, it sure can cause a lot of trouble, Matt. A woman having one husband too many. Maybe she won't have, Doc. Not for long, anyway. Oh. Oh, man, you aiming just to sit there, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, that's right, Chester. Well, it's pretty near time. Yeah, I know that. Takes relax, Chester. You got me as jumpy as a cat. Well, ain't you gonna do nothing to stop it, Mr. Jones? Not much I can do about it, Chester. You can stop them? No, just postpone it. As long as they feel like they do, it's gonna happen later today or tomorrow or sometime. I can't ride a herd on them 24 hours a day. Well, I don't know, but they must be something you could do. Well, how about a game of pinochle, Chester? A pinochle? At, at a time like this? Well, why not? Why, I never heard nothing so cold blooded in all my life. Pinochle? Well, I never thought of it that way. You know what I mean, Doc Adams. No, I don't want to play no pinochle. Uh, well, how about you, man? Yeah, sure, Doc. Get the cards. Well, no, I swear I never seen the likes of you two. Oh, stop worrying, Chester. When it's time, I'm going to go down to the stable and I'm going to try to stop them. Well, I'm proud to hear that. Hey, Oh, thank heaven you're here. Now, what's the matter, Kitty? Matt, you got to stop those two men from killing each other. Uh, you're as bad as Chester. Here's a letter. You read it. Huh? Yeah, it's for you. Jim Doby came out and gave it to me a few minutes ago when I passed the Dodge house. He didn't have time to bring it over. I think I know what it is. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I should have guessed it. Oh, never mind, Chester. Come on, let's go. Uh, 
that him, Mr. Jones. Right in the door of the stable there. That's him. I see him. Looks like he's just standing there waiting. Well, he picked the best spot he could. Jeff Lightly will have to come at him across the open there. I don't see Lightly around no worse. Yeah, he's not far away. You can bet on that. You stay out of this, Marshal. The law can settle up afterwards. Now, watch your gun, Ben. Now, wait a minute. I got no time to argue. Just hand it over. I mean it, Ben. All right. Thanks. Well, it won't do no good. I'll find him later, is all. I doubt it. Quit hiding behind that marshal and come on out, Vulcan. Now, what have you done? Set me up for him? Give me my gun. Come on. Get back inside, Ben. You stay with him, Chester. Yes, sir. Come on now, Ben. Why you don't let us alone? I'm going to I don't recollect giving you no invite to this party, Marshal. I'll take that gun of yours, Lightly. Eh? Well, I ain't so sure about you. Now, you're pretty high-handed, ain't you? You're just lucky you didn't try to draw. Chester, bring Ben out here. <laughs> well, all you're doing, Marshal, is just putting it off a while. It'll just happen later is all. Uh, maybe. All right. Both of you. I want you to read this letter. It was handed me a couple of minutes ago. Go ahead. From Sally. Go ahead, read it. Marshal Dillon, when you get this, I've left on the train for back east. Huh? I'm going with Slim Randall. He's a fine fella and treats me good, she not goes. like Jeff and Ben. You tell them for me I don't want they should kill each other, but I don't never want to hear of them again. Well, what do you think? Fighting over a woman who doesn't want either one of you. Why, a dirty little sneak. You know, come to think of it, I was getting so I didn't trust her at all. Oh, I never did. That's why I wasn't in no hurry to find her. Well, I'll be... Here, now. Bogan, I'm going to buy you a drink. And I'm proud to accept. And the second one's on me. <laughs> Hey, Marshal. You know, I, I, I guess you got here just in time to keep us from making a couple of fools of ourselves. No, not quite in time, boys. Well, what do you mean? You both married her, didn't you? Smoke, under the direction of Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Tonight's story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Parley Bear is Chester, Georgia Ellis is Kitty, and Howard McNair is Doc. Gunsmoke has been selected by the Armed Forces Radio Service to be heard by our troops overseas. Join us again next week. As Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, fights to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke.